This is Channel 7 News at 6. Oh, good evening to you. It has now been almost a month since an EF2 tornado tore through hot springs, damaging homes, boat docks, and thousands of trees and power lines. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham went back to Stone Ridge Condos today to check in on their progress of rebuilding. She joins us now live with the story. Ashley. Chris Beth, the difference that one month can make is night and day. Uh, the cleanup is almost completely finished and the lower level condos have had their air conditioning turned on as of today. But the caretaker I spoke with says there's still more to be done to rebuild. Today, a temporary roof sits on top of these condos, a freshly cut lawn and a clear path through the front gate. That was not the scene only a month ago. The roof completely ripped off portions of the condos and trees and power lines trapping residents inside. Their boat dock, a twisted, mangled mess. Richard Grinnis says it's an amazing sight. Take a look around, you can see a big, a big change between the damage, all the destruction, debris, all of it's gone. We're probably, I'd say, 90% cleaned up right now. Uh, still got a lot to do in some of the tree limbs still hanging, but most of the debris is out of the trees. Electricity back on for the bottom floor condos. Grinnis says slowly but surely, things are locking into place. Some of the owners that are living here, they're just now getting their AC back in. So they've been here for a month with no air conditioner. And that's that's been rough, but they've got air conditioning as of today. It's installed, but he says not everything is complete. A new roof to replace the temporary one is on a standstill due to insurance. A lot of destruction throughout Arkansas and they're overwhelmed. But the fine line between which insurance covers what is it HOA from the Home Owners Association or is it from the homeowners? You know, there's there's a fine line there. And when they hash out their fine, thin line, then they'll give us the okay to go ahead and start construction. He says while waiting for three weeks for that green light is frustrating, looking back at the damage they sustained and looking at the progress they have made. Very pleased, very pleased. Everything come together. And like I said, even the community people come together. We had help from all angles and now we're just in limbo. God is good, he'll furnish it. His time, not ours. Now, Grinnis says he doesn't know the timeline of when the, insur the insurance company will give them the green light. He says until then, the top floor condos will not have air or a roof. In Hot Springs on your side, I'm Ashley Lenningham. All right, Ashley, thanks a lot. And Grinnis was told it could take up to 16 months for the destroyed boat dock to be removed and replaced.